They said a long time ago, our world was whole. With unending grasslands and massive forests. Great nations went to war over lines drawn on the earth. And then, the world broke. In the blink of an eye, everything was forever changed. Yet, mankind persevered, harnessing newfound powers. They survived, and they thrived. The sky was no longer a limit. From centuries of conflict came prosperities and new orders. Yet their vice again festered. Corruption, stagnation, and oppression. Now the cauldron of boiling anger is spilled to the brim. All it takes is for someone to push it over. Hello there, welcome back, this is Zeme, today we're gonna play a new game, this game is called Airship Kingdoms Adrift, Adrift, yes, this game about a, sh a ship that can fly in the air, and the earth is almost damaged and there are no way to find any ground out there mostly the ice lands on the air floating this is a dream game for my childhood a ship flying in the air so let's go started and have really excited about this game i played a bit to get some control on that it is really nice handsome game I like it big like for divs this is a childhood uh, memories so let's go and we're gonna start a new game absolutely overwrite for old game I don't want it we can use and select three category on that so we have three category Each one has a unique New kingdom. Republic, mayors of the Viridian Ring. The Republic is the most powerful nation of the Viridian Ring, with many. And as they mentioned, the voiceover in this game really handsome. Really handsome. You're gonna enjoy it by listening to them. It's well done. Well written. Black science. So there are three kind of ship, three kingdoms. Each one has a unique, unique of clans and tribes of the harsh um, options, unique ships, and everything. I uh, prefer to use which one you would like. All it is has a new scenario with that. And new things. I prefer. Uh, I advance you. To choose first category and finish the game and then use second one to finish the game and finally use the third one and finish the game to get the maximum experience of this nice airship kingdoms adrift game. Really nice one. Let's go through and start from a new ship. This is Kai... Uh, don't know what's called. It's Destiny. Destiny ship. So let's go through and next. Now you're gonna use what kind of your carry you would like. You want to be for fighters? You want to be a uh, logistic? Or you want to be an industrious? I, there's so much options, so much categories, and you have to choose your weight and your style on gaming. I would be use. This is, they give you a strong cannon, not interest for that. 
and that one give you a business Life has been quiet and the e something is for sale, blueprint, large warehouse plan, and also modification lessons. Over the years. So the much voiceover. You're gonna enjoy it. Goods, and you knew it. But it is very difficult to logistician. There has never been a shortage of need mm. to move things around, especially while there's a continental war going on. You began your career years ago by piloting mm. freighters for Navy suppliers until you saved enough to purchase your own ship. For the what? first few years of being your we own boss, should business was this combatant. Thing. You were among the best your nation has to offer to the Great Sky War. It is really Instead hard. Let's take an industry and get experience on that. And now, there are three categories of difficulty. Story, Kingdom, Adrift, Challenging. What should you have to use is I believe challenging is best option because this game a bit of complex. I gonna explain the interface and the mechanism in first episode. I hope so. And keeping explaining that in second, third and finally until we done this playing this game. But however the issue is, it may take long time, it may take short time, but I keep explaining how the mechanism work. As my understanding, I'm gonna use a challenging Kingdom Drafts is a bit normal game. It should be normal game because all state will become zeroed. And Journey is uh, give you ability to uh, become much easier to defeat the enemies boarding them and capture the ships mm, you can choose your way by sitting uh, much harder if you want but I believe is challenging to get experience on that if you finish this game I find it is easier you can go ahead and make it much more s harder than usual harder than else and change your ability and skills but nowadays uh, we need to enjoy this playing so now and this one you should register yourself on the system you need to write your name last name mid name and the allies we belong to your name is commander james i prefer to be as it is Ha ha. M. Ah, uh, M A. Let's make it M A. M A without any mid name. Windows. Okay, let's just say it's Windows. And this is your flag, nationality, difficulty should be like that, and your background as industrious experience. This is your, our ship to become, and let's go happy game. Dear Commander, thank you very much for your kind consideration to join the Silverbloom Trading Company. Within this envelope, you will find an exchange note for the upfront payment as per our agreement and a handbook detailing rules and regulation that you must comply with while under the company's employment. Your ship has also been granted one-way passage into the South Seagian border during the week of your arrival, so please be at the Kingdom's border on time. Looking forward to meet you in person on October 592nd, Agatha Schwartz. The Silver Bloom Trading Company. And let's begin. You can enjoy about the view. So nice. And the sunset or sunshine, whatever it is. It is the beginning of our journey in this game. Good morning, Commander. You had a good night's sleep? Yes, of course. I have a good sleep have a day. Guest, so you might want to wake up now. Who came now? Let's see who's came. They didn't respond to the hail. Soothsag is truly as lawless as they said. Let's get this over with. Let's go. 
most you gonna fight them. Prepare your ship. And the command is yours. That is an issue. We are under attack. Uh, in this interface, absolutely, we have multi items over there, multi controls. The easiest one is the speed. You can press. Uh, X, uh, X from keyboard to make it pause or not pause. Or also, you can press Alt to make it much faster, much further in speed, which we need gonna use it so much later on traveling between cities in this game. So, first of all, we need to define our strongest thing in the ship. We're gonna click on our button ship here over there this is gonna repair our ship automatically i prefer to be set it in and use this item to repair which one this bar materials and also this is our ships uh we have three way fight for fighting and weapons three faces on that we already have 96 crew members in our ship and this is our speed of the game um this is a fuel, we need a lot of fuel later on, and we can carry some fuel on our board. Ammo also, we have 20k, but it is not enough, so much not enough, we need more than. And moral, uh, our people, our members, our team members, how they gonna work really good or not. Also, in future on, we can place a shield in our ships that help us provide and get some protected from any damage from cannons fight or let's say it's a, any dangerous thing come to us and shield will help us so much but I didn't in my experience I didn't find that one in my last game also the ship has uh, energy generator reactor whatever it can be inside generate power and most of uh, functional blocks in this ship I called it blocks in the ship is use power so be sure uh, you have a good reactor good source of power can generate huge amount of power to charge your weapons while a battle now let's see and find out we have our three faces this is our ship and the cannons can shot in front and two sides as shown but if we click information ship we can see and find our ship over there and has uh, a big what's launcher uh, and can deal about 3000 damage each shot but it may take about six second reload we like that also we have two lasers over there lancer technical lancer and mana bullet in the sides and we have a cannon on both sides we don't like that design because we're gonna change it later on and find out how to be much most efficient for using this weapons mm, we have storage and this layout our ships let's ignore it for now and find out how to defeat this ship and also our commander have two options of uh, fire at will which mean reload all weapons take 25 percent but range much more one percent also we can press and create an accurate by 20 percent which we're gonna use it uh let's click, press and z and rot rotate our ship press space to fire keep our shoot is nice and like And same time rotate faster to in front and send our big gun over there and we come back it's out of sign of power we should be do that always and sending long distance weapons and we can dodge absolutely we can dodge 
fire and arm 20 people is about 20 people and they move a bit speed keep firing from wrong distance and in this sign we can find what we target what we are going to target press here Oops. we win this game we hit them victory yes we are in victory situation we lost about 3000 ammo and materials for repair because they hit us this is a report for the situation what happened there how many one lose and how how many they are lose mostly we win but and somehow this is first battle only it's really low level low difficulty let's go and find our next journey next this is loot we loot some ammo and we loot some gas mostly we gonna sell them out there because hmm. only one or two is enough to handle some kind of uh, recovery places so i'll go do my thing well you go talk to this agatha schwartz all right let's get ready to port okay let's go ready to port they're gonna port in this land this way how to port they go down back and this is fair city we have mostly should be a good city have fun from dialogue a lot larger than i imagined well in you go then i need to go do my things now once you're done we can meet at the tavern when we next see each other we'll toast your new position good luck good luck thank you officer sylvia whatever is your name you talk so much welcome we meet at last Sonierita. i am agatha schwartz owner and director of the silverbloom trading company i am glad that you answered my call we at silverbloom are always looking for talented individuals to help elevate our company to even greater heights That being said, we must at least test you before officially accepting you into Silverbloom to prove that what I know about you is true. This is Jean Donadieu. I am assigning him as your assistant for this task. Jean, explain the task, please. Hello there. I guess you'll be my commander. Silverbloom is a... I'll task the... Sounds about right, ma'am? Yes. So That's much they look over there. Don't and I will most of us we're gonna ignore that dialogue mostly because they are talk so much and they give us two things task for the obest river and also they give us a invitation they invent us for somewhere and we are in the our fair city this button for map okay zoom in for smaller smaller maps and zoom out for bigger map mostly we keep it in bigger one zoom out fully zoom out and we don't have to touch it click there uh the map will be shown to you this is the whole the map you have this is big map believe me it is huge not even big it is huge map and we are about here you can choose between three things functions territory which they belong to also display outlet territory and this auto will hunt you and shoot each one has free traders and also and that one is a uh, officer territory this is almost some huge some territory 
some big battles become there. This is a small towns. Oh, sorry. So what? Villages, towns, and so on. This is a watch and big towns, and this is um, like a castle, uh, towns, and so on. Each one, each sign has a unique thing. So let's ignore everything. And destination, this is be ordered from further to sooner to further that you rather detect them nearby you we have so much thing here over there and only click and you're gonna find where are they but the problem is shown we don't have fuel to go there 340 kilometers so far from your territory so far so I stick with nearby and click if you want to go there and let's go over there this is headquarter where we we are going to and if you click on there it will show you what inside the warehouse in that town so you can keep th your thing there and check frequently about them uh, as we mentioned this is um what we are seeking for speed up the game 10 times 5 times and so on sitting and the time date years and everything mentioned here territory turtles we want to get much more from that also this is your mission over there and we are in storyline act one up to act about nine so much act and each one if you finish you have in look something really nice extra things also here a logistic the your logistic road fleet and routes everything journey where are you going now items and so on many things shopping list and how much cash you have this is currency we have five thousand and this is our look we can change it anytime you want just stick with uh, something easier uh with red blue ish thing we can also um watch all dialogue over there any dialogue it's right written there you can read it there here and you can filter it by system you receive items and so on and also filtered by button message conversation dialogues and trading filters press over there over there and you can do all that thing now we're gonna explain our ship this is ship is our sh current ship and first ship is destiny uh you can see our let's say um district in the ship and blocks over there a the red, green, blue, yellow, and the side thing. Each one have a sign of something unique over it. And you're gonna find it later on. I'll use this one. And each cannon, how to gonna be fired over there. This is HB, for, this is scale for shield. This is for HB health of the ship also this is a speed turn speed how much they uh, generate power how many people in the board and how much they fast and how much fast they heal and how much power they can and that all sorts and information you can discover by yourself later on and become happy now uh, they are auto crews for this game means if you to cruise yourself in one direction uh, they will be a super speed transportation between A to Z in one line if you try to do anything else it will be closed and disconnect auto cruise the normal speed is about 56 km per hour on the air while cruising 
I believe it become three, four, six times doubled of that speed. But mostly, you need to, you need to keep this button is on for cruising. Um, this is your level in fleet, level three. So you're gonna find enemies and they are numbers shown them. Three is your, as same your power. Four, five, six, seven is much stronger and stronger. One is weaker than you. Also, you can also you have three, four scale bars. Which one is for fuel, for materials, for fixing, for ammo, and finally for moral. If you press this button, you gain up uh, fueling your system, and this one add more material. Mostly, it is useless for early on. Maybe later on, maybe it is could be a uh, helpful and useful. Should be like that, but. It takes so much carry on and space in your storage. And now this is how many crews in the board and how many cargo holds in your storage. Maximum of 12, we have nine, which is so much, mm, so much. And here available vessels, you can change your vessels and so on and check about them you can score two vessels with your fleet you can get four four th max uh, total of three you can assign and remove and do anything also you can access your officer yes that's what we are seeking for officer officer john which we use and assigned by the king of this stone to us to help us in our mission they assigned us and John have uh, a bit of skills they have. He's level one, have zero experience of five and officer is VIP. This much further you know. The talent he has, he can agree uh, joining five more crews and have 1% extra. The next level, when we start second level, level two, it gonna has uh, much further things like get 0 0.5 discounts and also reward fueling from victory material and so on also in tacticals and he can add one percent one moral per percent in each battle it take and also he can the bad thing um, get 15 percent from surrounding if you sur if decide to surround to enemy and uh, they are side effect on that and he can provide about 15% from that side effect and each level can improve our surrounding plenty by mm, 2%, 3% and so on and now this is the quest he, we are requ they require to us and that is a ship description mystery and resources and reward and so on to gonna use, use it from with, while we game playing this game now the mission is let's explain the headquarter this is panel is mean how to access the city this nice city looks like so much nice the dick is mean hunger find out your ships and send and receive and so on shipyard dick i uh, mean supply uh, go to the ship supply lagoon supply ship and here we can buy some what we lose fuel material or ammo or even crow prefer to press this button and keep it on automatically filled each time you assign to your assign uh, each time you uh, dick on an, uh, any tone it's only cheap nothing than usual cute girl and let's back to dick uh, shipyard here what we can design our ship over there for now we don't even have to do that and I can explain later how we make use of our weapons as much and 
let's explain this one here we can sell and buy if you press this button in our cargo it will show us where can where we can sell this item which city we discovered only sells or buyers and there are no bonus or penalty on that so let's sell them all around there we don't want to keep much more further than that uh fitting nothing we can fit in our storage and everywhere we can buy something and place it but we don't want to buy now and waste our money cash this is a um, storage we can store anything we would like to you stuck that is local amount and the global amount designed for constructing large warehouse that could be stored more wearables mostly mostly we want to rework our ship to become much more handle much more of cargo so we have small strategy we can do that and keep our ship is firing from one side and other side we can use it for something else okay let's go to the story mm. Mm. by mistake i think supplier let's find out where we can sell our fuel one two three one that's our plan now large storage plan let's ignore it and back to the warehouse i mean shipyard parts ship fitting nothing interest on that also for now dicks uh, supply station also nothing interest and let's go to continue our game i prefer to redesign our ship now before we engage we gonna end this episode because it take me about 30 minutes and i believe 30 minutes is enough for maximize our episode hey let's go to design fitting ship and deleting all weapons we have over there and some of our uh let's say we have should edit okay we're gonna back it to normal remove everything we want by clicking in right click that is a good strategy and remove a second way second wave layout is turn in red is for weapon and the blue one is for driver also the green one is for absolutely for another thing to handle is like uh, power and storage we can handle there yellow is also for storage and so on we can select more than and we find this is range of 285 and this is 160 which is bad and this one 140 we mean we gonna use mostly this range to be a full stock or fighting over there we cannot handle that one over there we remove that one and extend it with steel and we keep as four cannon the four cannon is we can place it over here and this one over here last one is we have a huge side that we can fire from this way so we can not do that let's found out we cannot we can place this one over there and block our dust 
Yes, this is a, a bit small of firing area, but it may be much more efficient. Four, five, six, seven, and this has huge power shipment firing. And that is how good thing gonna work. Really hard hit, really nice hit. And at least we have some discovered from one side. Nobody will survive in one shot. Save this ship layout. And this do all what we have for now thank you for watching see you next time see ya